EV BMS with charge monitor and fire protection. Although electric vehicles are the future of transportation, there have been several incidents of EV batteries catching fire, raising concerns about their safety and efficiency. Here we design a system that will not only monitor the battery and charge it safely, but also protect it avoid accidents from occurring. This system will give alerts about battery status, charging parameters and temperature levels. The system has two types of charging, fast charging and slow charging. We now start with slow charging. The system charges the battery at a lower current in this mode. When we switch to fast charging option, the system charges the battery at a higher current for faster charging. Also, the system automatically switches off the charging as soon as the battery is fully charged to avoid any damage due to overcharging. Induction Motor Controller and Protection System Induction motors have been used widely in different fields ranging from domestic appliances to industrial machinery. When it comes to machines, motors are the most vulnerable parts to damage since they produce motion. This system aims in controlling the speed and direction of the induction motor along with protecting it from high vibration and temperature. e-bike speed controller system using STM32. Fuel-based bikes are gradually being replaced by electric bikes since electric bikes are more eco-friendly. Let us look at this new system which controls the speed of an e-bike as per its throttle with use of an STM32 controller. So as you can see the system is turned on and we will uh, throttle. So the throttle acts like a potentiometer okay which is uh, the input of which is fed to the stm32 microcontroller and based on that the controller will operate the dc motor the controller will increase the speed and as the speed increases and uh, the wheel speed increases and we have a sensor here it is a ir based sensor which is used to measure the speed and the measured speed is then displayed on the oled display using the stm32 controller Smart Vehicle Headlight Auto Switching and Intensity Control Smart cars have been upgraded several times, but the headlights have not undergone significant changes. Well, here we develop Smart Vehicle Headlights which turn on automatically at sunset and adjust their intensity accordingly to save energy. This system automatically regulates the brightness of the light and turns it on and off depending on the lighting conditions outside. To start the system, firstly, we will need to turn on the ignition. Let us use a key to turn it on. By using our hands, let's stimulate darkness over the LDR sensor. If the lighting is below a certain threshold, the system starts the LED panel. The system continuously monitors the external lighting level and adjusts the intensity of the LED light. It dims or increases the brightness to achieve the desired illumination. Now, when we turn off the ignition, the controller waits for 5 minutes and automatically turns off the headlights to avoid battery drain. Contactless switch for four load switching. Contact switches are today the most common method of switching off home appliances, lights and fans etc. However, turning off the electricity load requires physical work. But with this new system, we can switch off the load without any contact by using STM32 controller.
IoT based anti theft flooring system using Raspberry Pi. Increasing urbanization has made traditional anti theft security systems less effective as thieves have figured out how to evade or disable these systems. To address the security concerns, here we propose an IoT based anti theft flooring system using Raspberry Pi. When the homeowners go out, the system is turned on and any movement on the floor is tracked and alarmed over IoT. Solar Power Bank with Wireless Charging With mobile devices becoming increasingly reliant on power banks for charging, it poses a problem when there is no access to traditional power outlets, especially while traveling. Let us check out the solar power bank with a capacity of 20,000 mAh which comes with a foldable design, making it highly portable and convenient for travelers. The power bank also features an LED indicator to display the current battery capacity, allowing users to monitor the charge level easily. DIY Wearable Oscilloscope Smartwatch Oscilloscopes are typically larger and bulkier, requiring a stable surface or a dedicated workbench for operation. Also, they are less portable compared to a smartwatch. Let us check out this wearable oscilloscope smartwatch that can be worn on the wrist, offering high portability and is convenient to carry wherever you go. Solar Wireless Electric Vehicle Charging System Using charging cables and plugs require manual connection and disconnection of a vehicle from the charging station. This process can be less convenient especially in bad weather conditions or if the charging station is fully occupied. With this wireless charging, one can simply drive the vehicle on these power transmitters and the charging process begins automatically without stopping anywhere. So these coils are connected to a transformer which is used to power them. How basically the system works is the solar panel you can as you can see here is used to charge the battery using charge controllers. So the charge from the battery is converted to AC power using the transformer because for wireless transmission we need uh, the power to be AC power and after the power is transmitted from the coils on the road it is received by the coil underneath the vehicle and this received power is again converted into dc so that it can be used to charge the vehicle battery so now let's move the vehicle over the track and as you can see as it moves over the road the power is transferred wirelessly to the circuit and uh, as you can see the box of the vehicle is uh, made to be transparent and the coil that uh, is mounted inside the vehicle is used to power the vehicle circuit and also show the voltage generated so here we can see the voltage that is generated received at the vehicle end as it moves over the road so this is how the system works ac to high voltage dc using voltage multiplier circuit our project aims to build a system that develops a high voltage DC up to 2 kV using a 230V AC input. This type of system is commonly used in various electronic devices like oscilloscopes, TV picture tubes, washing machines and industrial equipment. The voltage multiplier works by continuously increasing the voltage at each stage, eventually reaching the desired output voltage. Let's turn on the system. As you can see, the voltage is gradually increasing and the intensity of bulb goes on decreasing. It's all because the capacitors are charging. It's difficult and dangerous to measure such a high value of voltage with an average voltage meter. So we made an arrangement across the resistor to calculate the voltage. 
At one point, the voltage gets stable and further value is indicated on multimeter. So as you can see, the multimeter is showing value of 170 volt, which is get up to 200 volt once all capacitors are get fully charged. So we having 10 resistors in our system, hence the value will be 200 into 10, which is 2 kilovolt approximately. So this is how the system works.